We have had an amazing morning. I want to reflect back on uh, the sequence of speakers and commentary that we heard. Uh, Achim Steiner uh, g gave us a very inspiring opening address about the importance of our uh, efforts here and the importance of your industry, the insurance industry, to moving forward. We heard from former chairs of the initiative around the insurance working group at UNEP FI, and we're so grateful we all do stand on the shoulders of those uh, who have done the work before. Our panel discussion, so rich in examples and in illustrations of how PSI can really help our companies move forward, as well as our societies. And then the very, very interesting uh, question and answer from uh, Astrid Zwick's uh, moderation, moderating of that uh, uh, section. What a, what a unique way to capture our thinking and how much that crystallized uh, the need for the engagement at the government and uh, regulatory level. And then closing with the Brazilian insurance company example and the really progressive work that, uh, if I might congratulate Solange Beatriz Mendez and the work of the, the local um, uh, insurance industry um, indicating that the industry already has a very high concern for the strategy and principles uh, in PSI and has actually moved forward on disclosure very smartly with, with work to be done on sections two and three, um, principles two and three. And I do want to also thank uh, Butch Bacani. His, uh, have, I've had the pleasure of knowing Butch through UNEP FI and his immense dedication to your industry and to this initiative. And please join me in thanking Butch for his leadership and work on this. Well, let me close with a few, uh, I thought, very um, incisive comments that were made by a number of the speakers. I have four of them that stuck with me. First was Achim Steiner say saying that the insurance industry is on the leading edge on the leading edge of, of so many aspects of our, our business lives, day-to-day -day lives, our personal lives day-to-day. -day. And, and the unique uh, uh, privilege but also responsibility of being on the cutting edge while also being conservative, as we heard, needing 50 years of vision, as Charles says, to really fulfill our promises. But this is an important combination, as Achim Steiner said. It is a, it is a unique combination in our, in our world, and uh, I think PSI helps demonstrate that and move that forward. Second observation from Jean-Christophe on the panel, that PSI as an accomplishment is a call to action. It's a, it's a beginning, not an end. And smart management of future risk is what everyone in this room is all about. Third, I, I enjoyed the soundbite from Patrick that PSI is a loudspeaker for the insurance industry. And you all are in a position to amplify that as you go back to your communities and your jurisdictions and your local uh, business communities to bring um, the message of PSI to your colleagues and to um, move and, and, and sign up yourselves if you've not already, already committed. My last um, observation, and uh, forgive me if I don't recall who made this uh, observation, but it was an outstanding one. Um, that what we are talking about here is very good for business. It's good for our, the, the insurance industry's balance sheets income, and income statements and certainly capturing new customers, as we saw, reaching uh, more of the uninsured. But this is also about making a vital contribution to society through uh, developing greater societal resilience to uh, catastrophe and to uh, uh, other risks and also contributing to stability of livelihood. Um, and these comments may have come from Swiss Re, I'm not sure, but they were very, they resonated with me. So in closing, I congratulate uh, all of the founding signatories. I congratulate the insurance industry for so their proactivity in this area. And I thank you for your efforts on behalf of the United Nations Environment Program Finance Initiative and uh, on behalf of myself as a citizen of this planet. Thank you very much.